Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4. We're playing in Sweden. This is episode 6. Welcome back to World War 2, guys. It is currently the 18th of October, 1944. And in my opinion, the Axis are winning the war. We are the Svenden Reich. We are the fascist Swedes. So guys, welcome back to the campaign. If you want to see more of this Sweden series, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. If you're new around here, leaving a comment and a like is a great way for me to gauge if you want to see more of this Hearts of Iron series, or maybe you want me to start another one, or maybe you want to see uh, Total War on the channel as well. So, uh, maybe more so. So, in today's episode, uh, I'll show you how we're sort of doing faction-wise. So, we pretty much have the entirety of Europe. We're doing very, very well. So, currently, we have, as Sweden, we occupy the United Kingdom and Ireland. We have, obviously, Sweden, Norway, Finland, and Denmark. We have all of Scandinavia here. We've also got, like, Iceland, Greenland. We also have huge chunks in... Russia, what was Russia, even got a bit here as well. We've also got some land down here near Afghanistan, also in the Caucasus, giving us some oil. So I'll just quickly recap you what we're going to be doing in today's episode and where my armies are. So, we currently have 88 divisions over here in China. Now, I can't stand this. This is the second time this has happened in a series. Jap Japan just getting absolutely royally fucked by China. They should be doing a lot better. They, they should be able to easily conquer China. But, unfortunately, they got kicked out. Now, because at the same time they were at war with the Russians, they lost lots of casualties. They got a lot of war scores. So, they took a huge chunk of Russia. It's not, it's not like, very valuable, but it's just huge on the map. And I can't let... Um, the Chinese expand. So we have 88 divisions here under the command of Eric uh, Edholm, the Swedish commander. He's going to be pushing into China now. Let's actually make a offensive line now. The huge problem is because we're up here and it's 1944, we've basically got no supply. Now as soon as I moved troops to the border, there was no one here. There was absolutely no one here. The Germans finally made the decision to help. Now what frustrates me about playing as a minus faction is the fact that the AI doesn't take the initiative to do anything. It's really fucking stupid. And yeah, it, it kind of sucks. So... We have 88 divisions here. Now, I have 42 of not my own divisions, Turkish divisions on the border with Turkey. I don't know why, but the Turkish gave me 42 of their divisions. Falk Hog Hogberg is the commander. I made that red because it's the Turkish red. Now, we're on the border here on Turkey. Now, I can't move these 42 divisions off because what's going to happen is the Allies are just going to blitzkrieg through uh, Asia Minor. I'm pretty sure this is Asia Minor. Push to Ankara and probably take them out. Now, I have 24 divisions spare because I've obviously taken the United Kingdom. I've made the decision to head down to Gibraltar. I want to help them on the African front. Because at the moment, diplomacy-wise, like I said, the Axis we dominate. Now, the hu like looking at the war, we've got obviously the Swedish-Danish war, which kicked off World War II. And then we've got the Japanese and Chinese war. If we can finish off the Chinese and the People's Republic over here... We should be able to free up a lot of units. We will be able to simultaneously take out the British Raj. We have to deal with Africa as well. Now, theoretically, uh, the Americans can land troops into Northern Africa. A lot of troops are being held up here in Greece. Check this out, though, guys. There's about to be 37 divisions of Greeks smashed by 33 divisions of Italians. Now, there's so many divisions in and around Europe here just sitting, just defending. I really wish the... Um, like, why can't the Germans, like, land in Greenland and then invade America? Uh, it would be really cool. Alright. Um, what else was I talking about? Alright, yeah, we're going to go... We're going to start the African front. Because at the moment, war-wise in the Swedish-Danish war... I wanted to go to war, I wanted to invade America, but then I looked at as to see they have 200, between a minimum of 295 to 715 divisions. So that number there pretty much nearly triples me, which sucks. The British Raz are still in South Africa, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, um, the Greeks are nearly done, and Liberia. Now at the moment, there are no fascist countries in the Americas. I'm currently boosting my fascism in Brazil, so we might be able to 
uh, send over troops, and hopefully Mexico can flip as well. They're currently 50%, because as soon as they do, we'll send all our men over to Mexico, try and hold the line and push. Because, like, okay, I can theoretically land in Greenland, then invade America, but we're just going to get absolutely kicked out. Now, the Free American Empire here has 30 ships... 35 ships, because they're actually still in the game, funnily enough. <laughs> the Silver League Legion of America, they got smashed out. What are they actually at? 17%. Okay, so I'm sort of waiting for either Mexico or Brazil to flip so I can send troops over, because we really are going to get absolutely outnumbered, and we really need supply, very good supply. So I've got 24 divisions here in Gibraltar. They're going to start in the African front, because... The French and United Kingdom do have troops here, but they mustn't have many men here. How many, tro how many troops does the United Kingdom have? 53 to 220. What about the French? 23 to 46. So there's a lot of African territory here which we can take. And it's great that the Italians actually have some land here down in Africa, so it's going to help our supply. So what I'm going to do from Gibraltar... I need to send you down to Africa. So what's the best way to do you? So we can, we're going to put you on the African front, the 24 divisions. We're essentially got the Turkish garrison under our command for some fucking reason, which is a pain in the ass because now I have to focus on it. And we're also pushing against the Chinese. So what's the best way to get to this side of... It's going to be risky going through here because there's most likely going to be allied forces. We could push from this way, but there's not going to be enough supply because for some reason there's no port here. God knows why. The Spanish don't have there. So what we're going to do, we're going to send these 24 divisions. Let's send them to the closest port, which is here. So let's get them to there. Let's help the... Yeah, let's just send these 24 divisions to help smash Africa. Try and finish them out because there's, there are a fair few resources here. Let's sort by resources. Okay, there's not as much as what I thought. Yeah. Still a little bit. Some some of it's better than nothing. So let's send those 24 divisions over there. Okay. So at the moment as well, we're getting huge resistance to occupation penalties because we've conquered so much fucking land. So to combat this, we've got our obvious... Um, we've obviously got our cavalry unit being our main suppression unit here. As you can see, I might go into this. We've got military police in them. Now, we are currently upgrading our... Uh, how do you get to it? Oh, I've forgotten. Oh, well, yeah, we're currently... Oh, research. Here we are. We're currently researching more be better military police. Because look at that. Most of our fact... Like, we're not even at our highest potential yet. Because there's so much resistance to occupation here. I'm going to have to send my fleet uh, down here. I've currently got my fleet on search and destroy. There has been a couple of updates to Hearts of Iron. Um, by the time this goes out, the new Commonwealth update will, will have come out. It's it's still a f like a fair few hours off coming out in, in at the time I'm recording. So we do have um, naval supremacy over here on search and destroy around the United Kingdom. We've got our planes over in China. So I think I'm pretty much ready to start. My manpower is starting to get low, but 380k, we've still got a, a fair bit, if I'm being honest. So what I want to do now is uh, start the charge. Let's push in now. My guys aren't going to be able to move that much, but what I'm sort of hoping is that the Germans can really push and help with me. Right, okay, because I swear sometimes like the AI just ignores supply. So let's push in and kill these guys here. We're going to be able to surround and conquer them. And once we've done with them, we can move a little bit better. Right, um, so we've got those guys heading to the... What, what is this? Ethiopia, technically, yeah. The Ethiopian provinces. We're also sort of waiting for a faction in the Americas to turn communist. What about Cuba, actually? They're one 98% Democrat. Really? Okay, they're not even like communist or anything. Right, but yeah, that just sucks. Japan just got absolutely fucking smashed out of it. Uh, Recruitment-wise, we're still... We're making uh, mountain divisions because we're going to need a lot of them. We're also making heavy tanks, finally. So I think that's pretty much it. We can send you to the port here in Malmo. And then we'll get you ready. So we just need to continue to move my cavalry and upgrade them. I think we're ready to... Uh, Start plowing ahead a little bit. So how is the front going over here? Against... Yeah, because at the moment, we can't basically move any of our troops because we just got such low supply. 
But what we could do is obviously take it out so we have enough supply, push these guys back to a back tier territory, then only leave like 24. However, um, I don't think my guys would be able to beat the those like guys would be able to beat the Chinese. So actually, we've just cut them. We've just overrun them there, which is perfect. Um, what was that? Yeah, like I was saying, I don't think. Yeah, it's not really the point of doing that because you might as well just sort of sit here and be a, a threat. Just even though the AI does like the, even though we can't move these guys, the AI doesn't know that. As you see, it looks like the Germans, the Spanish, and the Italians are making a push around this other side, which is great. The further we push through here. It's just because we're so, like, we're getting supply from, yeah, we're obviously getting supply from Stockholm, our capital. It just sucks because there's no fucking infrastructure here in 1944. There's nothing fucking here. Okay, so we've got some naval results. What's going on here? We're just going search and destroy, taking out any of the British convoys. Because I had I did try to do some naval invasions, but we were unsuccessful here in the Scottish Highlands region. We couldn't take that. We also tried to do a naval invasion in Greece, but this is holding up a lot of troops as well. It sucks that the, the Greeks turned fascist, but um, I think what happened was... Um, well, it doesn't suck that they turned fascist, it sucks that they went against us. So look at the Germans, they are really piling troops over here. We do have aerial supremacy by the looks of it. Have we nearly taken all... no, we haven't yet. Um, yeah, I think what happened was we flipped them to fascism and then the Italians triggered an event which made them um, which made them go to war. So did those units just get cut off then? They're not my units, they were Italian units. Yeah, we just got no fucking just no supplies through there and I can't actually build infrastructure which sucks. Have those guys actually made it just yet? No, they've pretty much outrun everyone. What? Naval Invasion Caucasus? Really? There's a lot of allied forces here in what is... I guess this is Syria? Yeah. Uh, Irish, Belgium, French. There's a lot of troops here. Like I said, we're basically in charge of the Turkish garrison. God knows why. Once we get here, we're going to be able to help help the Italians. We need to carve this up, I think. Right, how's this push going? It was doing really well, and then it just sort of stops. What I could do is I could take all my light tanks off and maybe just cut around the side, take some of these ports or something. That could be an idea. Um, that will reduce some of the supply. Oh, we don't want to do you. We're looking at the blue guy here. Right, so what I'm going to do is essentially get everyone who isn't a tank so get all the light tanks, get all the infantry just to hold, and then you got the tank divisions are going to blitzkrieg, blitzkrieg around, hit them, hit them hard. Be rel oh, fuck it, that up. Fucked it up. Is there a way to sort by tanks or something? Uh, what I could do is just do it by icon, so like you, you. I, I don't even know how many tanks I actually have. Oh, there we are. So here are my army, so... We've only got light tanks. I'm making heavy tanks for America. So we have five divisions of tanks here. Let's give you under the command of Neil Nils Langren. Pop you to the border here, probably. I think taking the ports here. It might even it might even encourage. Oh, we could even just cut them around there. What they're gonna have to do? They're gonna have to go like this way around, right? So everyone else, I'm positive looking through this. There's no tanks. Oh, that's fine. Right, put you under the command of Eric. Go with the blue. I like the blue and uh, the blue and yellow for sphere done. So we'll go like here. It just sucks fighting in this area. It's a fucking nightmare. I said it was awful <laughs> uh, not too long ago. We do have planes which will help. We need to wait for the Saudis to flip as well. We're currently boosting there. Alright, is that army here yet? Yes, it is. Those 24 divisions. Now, we should have pretty decent supply here. So, this army should do tremendously well. So, let's make a line here. Oh, whoops. Whoops. 
make a front line here. I just want to take out these these British units. I'm keeping an eye on my naval battle simply because I don't want like the British Navy just to arrive because I'm not entirely sure where it is. I don't think we got rid of it entirely. All right, let's keep you around here. Oh, yeah, I want to try and get you around without going through their territory. Right. So this war... So World War II in real life finished in September 1945. Obviously, this is an alternative history. Somewhat. I'm just trying to see what we can go through here. I am currently researching power plants because I would like to get bombs at some point. So get you guys to the front line here then. Did I... Did I put... Yeah, Army 3. Was that Army... Did I put Army 2 onto that? Yeah, they just can't seem to get there, though. Right. We're sinking a lot of American convoys. We're still holding up a lot of divisions here against the Greeks. Right, how's this tank division coming? You guys can get there quite comfortably. It's these blokes who are being a bit of a... Oh, fuck. It's these blokes here that are being a bit of a problem. Just sit back. Oh, you lost anyway. Which is fine. Right, wait for these Swedish units to come up. We'll cut out these just drips and drabs of... These drips and drabs of English units here make things look a little bit more nicer. I might even just delete this line. So we're in, we're currently fighting in Africa, the Swedes in Africa. Who would have thought? We could even push them down through this way. Actually, I, I wouldn't actually mind pushing into Egypt. Hitting them around might be a bit better. We could even split up twice, actually. Right, we just need to take here. We just need to consolidate our land we've got first. Right. Essentially, just go through like that. Uh, they're sort of pushing me on the side here. All right. How are we doing here? We've got through this. I guess we can upgrade these again. There's not many divisions here, but... We just need to sort of help the Italians a bit, I think. Which is no bother to me. Got to help out my, um... Comrades. Well, we're not, we're not communists. Yeah, so the push was alright. It's just because we've got no supply. No one's got enough stuff to go. So make an offensive line to here then. And go for it if you can. Yeah, no one's... Where the fuck did the Germans go? They're back around the other way. Maybe if we get those units around, it might be better. We're just waiting for our tank. Like, we're moving light tanks who are, like, awesome in this game. And they are seriously just sucking ass through this region. Right, how the fuck are we doing here now? Right, take that. Take that. Send a tank unit here. And then we need to make a front line. I don't know where I want to expand. Probably up here. Try and connect this to Africa is probably good. Then down in Africa here is not too bad as well. Then that would actually free up those 43 divisions, wouldn't it? Those Turkish divisions. Yeah, push north. Except for that light tank I sent. Looks like we're actually dealing with that alright. Push to here then. Surely the Italians can deal with just that now. Let's try and mop some of this up. 
How are we doing pushing actually into here? My tanks are going to hit them from the side. We're actually losing that somehow. God knows why. Right, push to here then, and then we'll make the border and push up through the bottom of Egypt. Uh, we destroyed three of their convoys. 110 in our population, which is fine. Did those tanks finally get around? This is going to be a long war. <laughs> a lot longer than what I thought. But, like, if I was the Germans, I'd be just smashing through here. Just like that. A lot of them, like, there's, 200, there's 240 Italian units just sitting here. Look how many just Germans are just sitting. About 144. Come on, guys. Take the initiative. We finally got the nuclear reactors, but the problem is we're not going to be able to drop any bombs because we don't have... We're not going to have enough free... Oh, did my tanks get fucked there, did they? I think they might have. When... The fall of Pat... You're joking. Wait, what? The fall of Paris? How? I'm so confused. Yeah, t Italy's on our side. It must have fallen to rebels or French rebels, and then um, the Italians just went in and took it. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. So we've actually got a lot of spare divisions here now, which is really quite good. Let's pop you here. We have 15 divisions that have been newly and freshly constructed, or recruited, rather said. We need to deal with this back bit here. It's getting a little bit out of hand. Which is a pain. Because I really want to... Yeah, send, get these guys here then. Because I really want to push up into Egypt. Now, how the fuck is this going here now? Alright, the guys on the tank... The light tank division's getting around. We might even be able to just, like, hit there and just cut them. Cut them from behind, then surround them. That'd probably encourage all these German units to push around. Dangerous naval invasion, that's fine. Whatever. Wait for some reinforcements to come, actually. We lost some convoys here. They're pushing a bit here. If we can push up and take Egypt, then hit the behind here, we'll be laughing. Right, still waiting for those tanks to come. Alright, now go for them. We've also starved them out somewhat. Right, how is my military police going now? Does everyone still... Is there still... Okay, it's still actually quite high. Which sucks. We do have... Yeah, we do have a lot of horses and stuff here. Just a lot of British convoys getting raided. So we're slowly trying to help the Italians down in Africa. Perfect. We've just overrun them. Let's move these 23. Yeah, we lost that light tank. Let's make a front line here. And what I want to do is essentially just push up through... No, I want to push up through... Just to here then. Why are you going that way around? Alright, everyone. Hang on. Why is that bugging out now? Alright, you guys get to here. Make a front line. From here, and then we'll push. Alright, naval combat wise, it doesn't look like there's anything real massive going on. Another fleet here. We've got 11 ships here. Let's pop you guys on search and destroy in the channel. This is really what's stopping because the thing is the the Americans can't get here. That's the thing which is really helping us because they're s sort of stuck here. They look like they are trying to make a bit of a push trying to take Greenland or maybe the Caucasus but they're going to have to really island hop if they're going to. Right, where are those? Where's that tank mission coming around? It's nearly through. They're nearly here, but like I said, it's just because there's such... We can't even build in infrastructure here because it's not even our land, it's the fucking Japanese. 
I would if I could. Now, what to do with these guys here? Now, where can I send them? The... The Federal Republic of Venezuela has joined the Allies. That's not good. They were one of the countries I wanted to join the, um... Fascists. So they joined the Allies. They were 50% Democrat, 42% Fascist. Oh, for fuck's sake. That sucks. That really, really does suck. Oh, they're getting to the front line now. I wonder with these guys, can we start actually making a push, like, straight to Cairo? Is there, like, no one here? So now we're at war with Venezuela. 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 Fucking brilliant. Right. How are those tank divisions going? Are they nearly here? Nearly. Hope this works, in theory, getting around. Alright, we haven't been invaded in Greenland. We haven't been invaded in the Caucasus. Oh, yeah, we're actually really pushing upon Cairo. <laughs> we're nearly at Cairo with only a couple of units. Oh, shit. Yeah, just kind of... Oh, fuck. I didn't think that'd push that far. Oh, shit. Alright, what do we have to do is do this. They're going to get cut off here if I'm not careful. Yeah, just sort of hold your position. If they're smart enough, they'll just like clip me here. Now, why aren't these guys spreading out? That's so stupid. The AI, I, I love this game so much, but the AI is like the bane of my existence. Go this way then. Get the Mountaineers to go through this way. Right, what's going on here? Um, it was sort of the decryption stuff. It's currently April 1945. World War II ends in September. Apparently. They've landed here again. It's because they've got... Oh, it's because they've got lands in the bottom here in Saudi Arabia. What I could do is I could send these divisions now. How many do we have here? We've actually got quite a few. 22. Let's rally up with this, you guy. Uh, we haven't got another general. I actually need a new commander. R Rickard Ricken. Okay. We're going to send you to Africa, my friend. And if any of, like, say, Mexico... We've actually gone through this now, this tree, which is cool. Let's go with advanced artillery then. Yep, so basically we'll send you to Africa now. If any of those countries flip over in America, hopefully Mexico does. 45, 22, maybe even Brazil. We can actually send units over here to fight. But guys, I'm going to have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below if you want to stay connected with me. Leave a like and a comment if you want to see more of this Hearts of Iron series for the Swedish campaign. I can't stress this enough. If you want to see more of this particular series, leave a like and a comment. If you don't, comment why. Like, do you want to see more Total War? Do you want to see more... We're losing there. We've got a bit of supply. Yeah, this... It's what... what, what I know what the problem is. It's the fucking supply here, but... I don't really know. I don't think, like, even if I move all the troops out to, like, hearsay in my own territory, we have, like, what? How many can this... How many can this actually supply? 12 units there... 22 there. So we're over by quite a lot. I don't... Well, it's like supply lines, so... Yeah. Even if we made it right. I don't think my army could even beat the Chinese here. It's all the fucking Japanese fault. It really is. Yeah. So also, if you want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, maybe even Hearts of Iron, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. But thanks for watching. My name has been Simsy. Take care. Goodbye. Really close cinematic shots here. Pushing through the bridge. Oh, look at... <laughs> that was probably the shot of the video there.